Yo, this your girl Shay Nut, Underground Girl with HipHop.com. We on the line with Marla Rain from the BX. What's up, Ma? Good with you. We're featuring Marla Rain this month um, as a fancy feature of the month because she did me a favor, which was take that let me say this nicely that whack ass show <laughs> Miss Rap Supreme and turn it into some fire. Whoa. I really appreciate that. I wanna know how did that come about. I'm gonna ask you the other questions and all that, but I wanna get right into how did you come how, how did you come about doing that? That that was that was genius. That was dope. That was oh dope. thank you. <laughs> um um actually I was watching the show like every other female MC that I know was mm-hmm. watching the show. I actually know a couple of girls that auditioned for the show and I actually know um, one of the girls that came second place. Uh, I know Beata from a couple oh. years back. Um, and, um, you know, so I had a personal interest in the show because I knew somebody who was actually on it. You know what okay. I mean? I knew so, so many girls who I went to actually audition. So, um you know, I, I just wanted to see the outcome. You know what I mean? It was the first time something like that has ever been done. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so it whether the show was good or not, it, it was still a milestone, I feel. You know what I mean? Like, as far as the whole female movement is concerned. Cause, mm-hmm. You know, I, I've been a part of this female underground movement. You know what I mean? Like, all of us have, really. You know what I mean? But I, I feel that it's becoming a bigger thing. You know, more and more females are People getting involved. Are that you can kind of, it's almost like a, a tension that you feel, you know what I mean? It's its something that's universal that all females are feeling that are involved in the industry. Yes. You know, we kind of feel like this, something's happening, you know what I mean? The call, the call for the female to step to the light is getting stronger. So, you know, whatever. Um, I had actually did a mixtape um, like maybe two years ago with a bunch of female MCs and Beata was basically spearheading it. So, okay. you know, that's how I, that's how I know Beata. But, um... So basically, I'm watching the show, you know what I mean, and um, I I I had wa- I was already working on a mixtape, and I ended up changing, switching everything over, and making it a Miss Rap Supreme mixtape, just because the show was airing, and I felt like you know it was important, you know what I mean, and I had to I had to jump on the opportunity, you know, as far as marketing and stuff like that, mm-hmm. being that I knew, at least among the females, that it was going to be a big deal. So yeah, and, and that's this, basically this, this how is, y'all y'all got to understand, she took every obstacle they gave the women and turned it into a song and, and took on the challenge, which was dope. Because I, I feel the show, like you said, it was a milestone for females, but at the same time, I felt it was a joke. Like, those females was dope. They deserved more than that. And like you said, marketing. At least yeah. you were smart enough to say, look, it's, it's, it's marketing. It's marketable right now. I'm about to take it on, and I'm about to run with it. That's smart. That's the type of thing that they should have been teaching them on Miss Rap Supreme. Let's market yourself. Let me show you how to take this and run with it. So I, exactly. I'm loving that you did that. I, the Thank two you. short this, y'all got to check that one out. That's fire. <laughs> That's fire. You I was know like, what it is <laughs> with, the, with, with the whole reality show thing? It's just that you know, it's it's about TV. It's and you know, and I think that artists need to listen to this right now. When when you jump when you get involved with a reality show, you know, it may it may boost your. Um, it may boost your popularity. It may give you the exposure, but it may not be the right exposure. Exactly. And some people, you know, they think that they just need to get somehow get on some kind of reality show. It doesn't matter what kind as long as they get to say what they do on the reality show. And really that works against you. Mm-hmm. Um, because it can make all these reality, it, it, most of the time it's going to break you because yeah. most um, these reality shows are all about making people, you know, it's a comical thing, you know what I mean? And it's all making about... Making you into a buffoon, that's what it's Exactly, making. And, and, and you know, but it's good TV, you know what I mean? If you want to be a TV personality, if you want to be a reality show star, then that's the route to go for you. But if you're trying to do something else, that's definitely going to work, work against you and take away from you as an artist or as a whatever you do, you know, or whatever you really want to do. Because it's, it's going to really water it down. They're going to water down exactly. your craft. Unless it's like your day. own reality show, you know, and you've already established yourself where mm-hmm. you have a fan base already, it's very hard to build a strong, solid following, you know, of people who are going to accept you no matter what you do. Like, it, it's, a, it's a really tough thing to do, and that's why I didn't even try to go for that show. But I said, you know, I'm still going to be involved somehow, and that's why I did the tape. And, and, and it was fire. Um, switching reels, because Marla Reigns is fire. You know, I, I was approached, 
you know, by our management team. And I was like, all right, I'm going to check her out. She fired, y'all, and I'm not even playing because, you know, Shayna keeps it all the way 100. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been spitting? Spitting, I've been doing it for about a good seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. um, but seriously pursuing a, a rap career, I've been doing it for the last, maybe i say three, four years. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, how did you come about getting a name? Hello? Yep. I'm Sorry with about you. that. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you get the name Mala Um. Well, Malave is my last name. I'm oh. Puerto Rican. Um, born and raised in New York, New York, or whatever. Um. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I just felt like, you know, I, I like the, the Mala part of it. You know what I mean? Like, I mm -hmm. felt like it, you know, meets bad girl in Spanish. Mala meets bad girl. <laughs> so, you know, I'll keep that. I started off doing poetry and stuff like that, and I was going by the name Mala. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I added the reins a little bit later on because I wanted to kind of send more of a message. I wanted it to be more of a name, you know, a catchy name, no. you know, Mala Reigns or whatever. And, you know, Reigns, of course, meaning like, you know, having power, reigning over, you know, uh, people. Bad girl, power. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what's up. So, Mala, tell us where we, what you're doing now, where we can catch you. Hit them off the MySpace page. Let Definitely. Um, you can check me on the MySpace at myspace.com forward slash Mala Reigns. It's spelled M-A-L-A-R-E-I-G-N-Z. And, um, I mean, I got it. I just dropped the mixtape uh, not too long ago, so they can still check that out. It's actually on sale on uh, egradioonline.com. And they can also hit me up directly, and, you know, I'll, I'll get it to them. Also, um, working on another mixtape, which will be called uh, Calm Before the Storm. Mm -hmm. Playing off the whole Mala Rain's name and everything like that, okay. and I'm and I'm releasing an album this year also, um, which I might just change the name because I do that all the time. But right now I'm trying <laughs> to keep it in the whole Rain's you know theme or whatever, so it'll be called the Perfect Storm. So you okay. guys, come before uh, the storm and the Perfect Storm, we will follow that mixtape up with the album. And also, y'all check out her YouTube. She got a video BX till I die, which is dope. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so check check that out as well. We'll also feature that on the website as well, so y'all get an opportunity to check that out on the website so, as long as, you know, going to YouTube, into her MySpace page. Um, any performances coming up that we should look out for uh, that we should be promoting? Yeah, um, performances just pop up usually out of nowhere, mm -hmm. um, but I have a big show coming up in March. It's here in New York. It's um, it's at Pacha Lounge. Um which is like a big spot downtown, and I'll be opening up for Dead Prez and um, some other some other big acts, That's and then there's also look. like a showcase competition which I'm a part of, so I could use the support for that. That's going to be a really dope show. All right, so just get us some information on that. We'll post that up and get everybody out there to support Mila Reigns. It's your girl Shayna Check out the girl to be on our home page. We also playing the single. Uh, yeah, I like that. Oh, the uh, so y'all log on, y'all check that out. That'll be nice. You know why you read the book? Girls, check out the new book. One hundred, 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 I'm trying to buy us air, we can't breathe in there The room's too crowded, we can't sleep in there We sleep in pairs, but a strong arm, any moron A you know, tell me ain't no space for you Gotta pay rent, you playing games, I'm a halo one, y'all This ain't fake